Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks Part 3 uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to use set integrity command or set integrity statement for regenerating generated column expressions. Let me first uh, create a sample table to demonstrate this. So here I am creating a table table EMP ID integer um, like a EMP is an employee table with ID name and salary the table got created next step is to insert few sample records okay. sample record is also inserted we will look at the contents of the table so it has 5 records, 5 employees with uh, IDs name Sam, Pam, Dam, Ma'am etc. salary okay. now uh, I am going to add so we are going to alter a table the same table EMP add a column revised salary of data type integer generated always as so it's a generated always uh, it's a uh, expression based uh, column whose value is taken from the salary column into 50 by 100 so it is something like 50 percent of the uh, salary So if I uh, try to add this column, uh, it gives me an error with recent code 22. So let's just look at what is that. So the error states that the generated column expression cannot be added or altered because the table is not in check pending mode. So the solution uh, to this is to put the table in check pending mode. So which can be done using db2 set integrity for table name of command. So when I issue the db2 set integrity for table name off so it puts the table in check pending state so we can easily check that using this db2 load query table table name so it has put the table in set integrity pending state now we can issue the alter uh, statement to add the column the table go, uh, got altered let us uh, look at whether the table is in normal state or not that is a schema name error the table is still in set integrity pending state only okay so now we have to take the table out of set integrity pending state for so which can be done using db2 set integrity for emp immediate checked force generated so this is the important uh, uh, keyword here so the force generated is the one which will regenerate the uh, uh, which will generate uh, the the generation expression based columns so we are uh, telling when you are taking the table out of set integrity pending state also regenerate the uh, generated always columns that's what we are seeing here so let me just run that now the table is back into normal state let us query the content of the table it's done so 10,000 like 50% is 5000 20000 50% is 10000 so it has done its math correctly now if we want to let's say uh, the the expression that we have used here is 50 
by 100 so salary 50% of the salary now if you want to change it to 20% of the salary so you can use alter table alter column the column name set expression as revised uh, value okay the revised expression if i do that i'll be getting again the same error same error code same uh, sql uh, error code with same reason code 22 so i have to put it in set integrity pending state so it is in set integrity pending state again issue the column issue the alter statement alter table employee alter column revise salary set expression as 20% this time it's done it's still in set integrity pending state so you have to take it out of the set integrity pending state so set integrity for emp immediate check force generated so you need not drop the column now because we have uh, uh, it's an existing column we need not drop and recreate we can alter it now the table is back to normal state So twenty percent is ten thousand. Twenty percent is two thousand. So it has done its math again correctly. So so this is the learning here. So set integrity for EMP immediate checked force generated is the keyword. You, this is for generation columns. You can also use this for um, if you, if there is identity columns. There is a separate keyword for that. That is uh, set integrity for EMP immediate checked generate identity. so the, the generate identity is the uh, class uh, for identity columns and this this example we have shown we have used only generated columns uh, that's it for uh, part 3 video tutorial thanks for watching uh, looking forward uh, your um, uh, support for um, more videos thanks